Good morning, fuckers. Good morning, fuckers. You all fuckers. I had a dream last night about dungeons. Dungeons. People were buying dungeons. And they were expanding them. They had little sales. Little little rooms with dirt floors. With a blinking light. And it was somewhere near the Panama. Somewhere near the Panama Canal. Hey, don't eat my guitar. Hey. Don't eat. Oh, great. Just because it's in here doesn't mean you get to eat it. Cat is eating my guitar on the top. It's in her area. No, that is not her area to eat guitars. You have to tell them no. She's normally pretty good, but she's fucking wild. Come here, wildcat. Come here. Come here, I'll give you a rub on your back. She likes it. Good morning, kitty. Go fight. What's up? Little turd. Little turd. something about Panama there was a bunch of locks at the canal where you put the boats in and you flood them to raise them up to get them to go through and if you got in the water you would get crushed so you couldn't get in the water because like when they fill those things up it, it's too much I, I don't know it was some danger that you wouldn't think it would be dangerous and it's very dangerous likely to kill you or throw you underwater or something crazy like that it's pretty crazy and I don't remember all the details. I was trying to escape. I'm just amazed how the political process has made people so stupid. You know, I don't feel like a member of either side really I'm not gonna say that I am because I don't really I feel like I would be in the middle as a libertarian but people that are on both sides either one I listen to shit they say and it's it's so fucking stupid it is so fucking stupid they're not paying attention they're all being brainwashed they just want to and I don't know what the point in that is when you have crazy shit going on, you have to pay attention to it. You don't fucking... You don't fucking just be like, oh, this is this is fine. You know, because some of the shit that's going on is not fine. I don't think the, the border shit is fine here at all. That's like a big problem. We already have like... You have the whole state of Ohio here in un documented people and they give them court dates for the future and they don't show up to the court date a lot of times they're committing crimes they don't kick them out the original plan came from those secret societies because it was in the Albert Pike book the Albert Pike book pretty much laid out every fucking war that was going to happen before the 1900s because he was that guy was in um, the 1800s he was a confederate general the only one whose statues they've not fucking pulled down for some reason 
I don't. I don't care for the secret society people either. I don't cut for that shit. Not when they're trying to control the world and build one world where they have everyone enslaved. That's just dumb. The people will eventually probably make a single world, you know, but it'll have to be organic. You know, it'll have to be people that do it, people that are free to make decisions and, and, uh, build things and be able to eat, you know. The plan they currently have has most of us die. They had a, a census on one of the, um, I don't know exactly what they call them. They call them actuaries or something like that. It was an actuary table. And it had the year 2025 through 2026. And the population of the world just dropped with no explanation on why there was like a billion people gone. I don't, I don't remember the exact number. I just remember I've been watching these things for a while, you know, looking at them through basically independent media that's been arising since fucking uh, the beginning of the internet the internet you can have shit come out and people can say things and people can suggest things but then I, I listen to my boss listen to all this bullshit all day too that's disinformation and a bunch of shit but it's not the type that's gonna fucking do anything but make you think there's gonna be a positive occur that never, never comes, you know, some fucking Nisargasar, I don't see us getting any money or anything like that, I don't know about that, it just doesn't seem likely, it would be nice, it'd be great, you know, being as we basically have been robbed, all the people have been robbed, many varied ways since the uh, 50s. The amount of money that you can make is a lot less. And you can barely survive if you have a, uh, a family and you're both working. You, barely, you still barely can make it. Food's so fucking expensive. And certain things you need, like food, If you can't get them, get it reasonable, then it makes it difficult for you to pay your bills. Uh, just all kinds of problems. And I, I do, I think people should be able to live however they want to, do what they need to do, but a society has to have certain rules or it's not going to work. Like, you can't get rid of the police. I'm not a pro-police -po person, but having your police is right up there next to not shitting where you eat. You know? You gotta... Somebody has to fucking be neutral to be able to solve some of the problems that people are gonna have. People are gonna fight. Somebody should fucking be able to break them up. We haven't evolved ourselves into the way that we can just settle this ourselves in groups without there being some sort of uh, favoritism. And one of our sides has become so much like the communist. We had a whole period of time in the 50s where they had McCarthyism and they were trying to Make sure there weren't communists. 
in um, different areas. The communists had planned to put people in the institutions and they succeeded at doing that. So if you go to a college, you get brainwashed into thinking all these fucking crazy ass ideas. You come home to your parents and you call them pieces of shit because you're, you're all your friends and all your companions all get to think in the same way because they're being indoctrinated at the school think a certain way so you come home and you talk shit to your parents because you think they're stupid and backwards not realizing that you're a fucking communist communism has not worked if you give the means of the production to the fucking state the state will have leaders that will live in opulence and you will fucking suffer period if you take somebody to court and you call them guilty because they're on the other party you just like, well, you're guilty, you're a raper, and you did this and this and that just because you and you don't let them bring up evidence. That's not the way the fucking system's supposed to work. They had the constitution made to do certain things that was pretty phenomenal for humanity up into that time. No, it was not perfect, but it still gave a framework. For there to be, you know, some of the, not some of the bullshit that you have to deal with when you have uh, royalty fucking appointing people to tell you what you have to do. Don't make a fuck what you think, if it's better, if it's a good idea. You know, when you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're guilty, you're guilty. And that's just the way it is. And that's the way that they're doing it now. You know, so rather than get things done, you get these other people and they just want to change out the fucking leader. They would rather have someone that's not going to fix the problem because it's their, one of their people. And then just, you know, go back to doing whatever they do and act like nothing's going on. Meanwhile, everyone else that's watching the problem, looking at the border, watching them catch people, watching the stories of the shit the people are doing... Watching the people get murdered. Watching all the kids that are dying from fentanyl because they're just bringing it over and you got these assholes just like letting them in. It's just dumb. It's like, it really goes to show if you're fucking intelligent or not. There's a lot of intelligent people in this world, but there's a lot of intelligent people that have resigned their intelligence to be on one of these parties. And it's fucking disturbing because when people get like that, you can't count on them anymore. You can't count on them to do the right thing because somewhere in their fucking gears, they've got that fucking desire to please that that side or that desire to, to rage against someone that's just another fucking party than theirs. And they don't they don't get over it. They don't, they don't snap out of it. They don't be like, you know, fuck that. That's not right. Whatever we got to do, let's do it. So you're not going to get no one fixing the border. You're not going to get anything. And America will fucking turn into a fucking shit country. You know? And it's just sad. It's sad because some of these people, they are smarter. You know they're smart. They're intelligent enough. But they get so fucking caught up in the politics of the parties that they don't think they won't think or they won't discuss it or they get all butt hurt. Because they don't they don't know you can let that go. You just let that go. Just let that go. Whenever I was young it was fucking the Republicans were only for the giant businesses and shit. Now it's the complete opposite. The giant businesses are basically the corporations are now using the Democrats. So it's like the same people that were anti-war. I don't want to go to war. I don't think that we should send any of our children to fucking wars that are not fucking just and how long has there been since there's been a just war maybe world war ii 
World War II might have been just. They fucking blew the shit out of Pearl Harbor. So, you know, you just, you have to, you have to expect there to be some shenanigans going on. And then what you can do with it in the meantime. What can you do while shenanigans are going on? What is the right action for you to do? What is the right position for you to take in a matter that fucking may require your fucking doing something about it? People just started showing up and running around and robbing people's houses or taking them over. What would you do? You could live in one of those states and they could tell you, nope, you got to let them live in your house. No, you can't do nothing. That's an immigrant. You got a little movie. They would tell you something like that because that's the type of dumbass shit they're doing. You know, if somebody comes into your fucking house, some fucking person that's tricked from fucking South America come in a caravan of people and then they somehow obtain weaponries and come into your house, you should be able to blast their fucking ass. Take them out. You know, you should be able to defend your shit. But, you know, the fact that they won't even let people defend themselves when being attacked is some of the most retardedest shit. And people still go along with it. They think that that's all right. That's the, the better way. But it's not the better way. It's not. It's clearly not. For the past three years, we've seen how fucking shitty this fucking idiot that we have. Because he's not really the president. His previous boss is. And that's shit we're not supposed to have either. We're not supposed to have somebody just sitting up there pretending to be the president while his uh, previous uh, co-partner, the president before, is telling him everything to do and he's going to do it. Nobody voted for the fucking other guy. So the guy that we have can't even think for himself because he's fucking dementia. You know. The only thing I like about the other guy is that nobody likes him. Nobody likes him. And he got in there and he did shit that didn't have us going to war. I noticed we didn't go to any war because nobody wants to fuck with that dude because it'll fuck them up. No, he didn't take us to war. All the shit they say about him is lie because they just don't like him. He's a human. Like most other humans. But if you look at humans, humans have problems. I have problems. You have problems. You got you got good things too. But just to shut down and be an asshole to somebody because they're not following your fucking marching orders is dumb. It's just demoralizing to live in a society where the people are so that so fucking stupid and won't think for themselves. They're gonna let these parties think for them. And when they try to come up with the, their reasoning for why, it's always stupid and emotional. It has nothing to do with facts or something like that. It has to do something with some detail that they've chosen to be the one that they fucking uh, dislike. You know, when there's so many varied things somebody could do that to you about, it wouldn't be right. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. Have a nice day.